Ram Activity Tumor Biobank is one of the first centralized biobank in Thailand. So with this, we hope to have a better treatment outcome, less side effects, and overall longer survival for the cancer patients. Cancer is a major health problem and it is also leading cause of mortality. Cancer is a complex disease to conduct an effective translational research project or clinical research project. We need to set up a biobanking center to collect various types of tumor samples so many researchers can use these tumor samples to do translational research and many clinical trials to improve our treatment efficacy and to improve our care. The first process that we do is that the clinicians uh, will talk to the cancer patients whether they are willing to donate the leftover specimen uh, after the surgeries and then after that uh, they will sign a consent form at the OPD and then we will contact the OR and the surgeons will be coordinating the time that we can go and collect the samples from them. So after we collect the fresh specimen from the OR, it will be snapped frozen in liquid nitrogen uh, right away and carried to the lab. And after that, our researchers will take care of the specimen and then uh, put them in the system. We have a specific 2D barcode tubes and then scanner system that will tell us where the specimen are in the bank. And also we develop our own tumor banking software and patent it already in, in, in Thailand. Uh, so this system will help um, organize where the sample is and also let you know how many samples that the patient has, at what time point we collected the, the sample from them. We have the blood sample from the patient as well. Uh, we use this to separate into serum, plasma, and then buffy coat, which is the white blood cells part. And then use that for DNA or RNA extractions or protein uh, analysis. And with that, we can compare this cancer tissue with normal tissue, uh, comparing this part with uh, like you know, primary cancers and metastatic site, and see whether there are different genetic alterations of protein or gene expression that are different, and then use this uh, as a biomarker. Biomarker is some things that you can really use to predict the progress of the disease in the patients, or you can use this to help decide which treatment would be the best for your patients. And this kind of research, uh, without a good infrastructure that collect as many as specimen as you can, then you can really kind of uh, do this in a big scale. And because um, after you identify something new, you need to validate that in a bigger cohort of the patients. And if we don't prepare for that um, right now, after you finish your first experiment, then you need to start collecting more cohort, more new samples for another five or 10 years in order to have a thousand samples and then continue your research, which is actually not in time. And we do have a success story already in the term of head and neck cancer. So what we did is that we identified this uh, specific set of genes biomarkers that can help to predict whether the patient is at a higher risk to have this second primary tumor so that we can develop a surveillance program to detect it faster and earlier than, than before it happened. And this way we hope to be able to extend uh, the five year survival time of the patients after they are first diagnosed. This is a teamwork, so we have to collaborate closely with the clinicians who recruit the patients and then tumor registry who collect all the clinical data set. Rama Tipidi Cancer Registry is a hospital-based cancer registry that collects incidents and stores data on all cancer patients who are diagnosed or treated for cancer at Rama Tipidi Hospital. Within the last two years, we have managed clinical data more than 50 research projects for researchers. 
And we also have close collaboration with uh, researchers who actually use what we collected to spin off their research. And what we can do here, uh, there are many uh, opportunities for researchers because now we have a very good collection of uh, clinical samples that go together with clinical data set. And also we can use the fresh specimen here and then develop them into a new cell model. Uh, we call this organoid. We have made uh, an organoid from uh, retinoblastoma. It's a cancer of retina and occur only in the children. The patients will lose the vision or the eye if the, the treatment involves surgery. For making the organoid, we develop culture medium from scratch. We grow them in the lab and we found that they have molecular and histopathology features resembling the original uh, tumor tissue. So we can utilize the organoid as a model for uh, searching for new drugs.